A bit too tasty around Highbury. It's the Battle of the Second City, Part 2. Ron Atkinson's Aston Villa against Terry Cooper's Birmingham. In the first leg, Birmingham had their chances and missed them. It's been saved by the standing goalkeeper. Villa struck late to take a lead back to Villa Park tonight. Over the heads to Richardson, chance here. Old Trafford, Alex Ferguson's empire is Chalaleg. The commentary team, Jimmy Greaves and Alan Parry. Well, to the clubs, league points and Europe are all important. But to the fans of Villa and Birmingham, this is the biggest match of the season so far. Well, there were anxious faces in the Villa dressing room when this team was announced. Ron Atkinson described Saturday's display against Newcastle as a shambles, disgrace and embarrassment. But the managers made only two changes. Mark Bosnich in goal for Nigel Spink and Tony Daly comes in for Guy Whittingham as Villa revert to a 4-4-2 formation. Birmingham, a goal down from the first leg, have been dealt a double injury blow today, losing both their main strikers, Andy Savile and Paul Pesky Solido. Defender Paul Marden is pressed into service up front, and there's an unexpected debut in midfield for Canadian international Lyndon Hooper, signed from Toronto Blizzard, Pesky Solido's former club, and Hooper's work permit only came through yesterday. Tonight's referee, Gerald Ashby from Worcester. So it's Birmingham who kick off against Aston Villa, the first ever winners of this competition, who start with a goal advantage and the manager's criticism still ringing in their ears. Certainly the Premiership Club won't need any motivating for this one. A tremendous atmosphere from a near full house crowd. And Birmingham City, whose job is going to be difficult enough anyway, having to adapt to the loss of those two strikers. And it means that this young man, who only found out earlier today that he'd be making his debut, has got the big stage, the biggest of all, perhaps. Across the back four by Cox to Teal. Saunders. Daly. Opportunity for him to run it highly. And he's taken the opportunity well. But that's a goal kick. Richardson. This is Saunders. That's good play by Saunders. Flat, dangerous cross, but he didn't really get behind it. And Cowens is dispossessed by Donova. That's a fine run, this by Donova, taking him right into the heart of the Villa defence. And Carl Schutt hits the ball with superb power. That was an excellent effort by Carl Schutt. And it brought the best out of Bosnich in the Villa goal. What a moment that might have been for Birmingham, Jimmy. Yes, it's the first decent move of the evening. And what a great run by Louis Dono. Strong, tremendous 50-yard run upfield, finishing with the shot shot. Good clearance from Dryden, but it breaks to Townsend. Danger here. Well, he's got a sweet left foot, Andy Townsend, as many defences have discovered over the years, but he didn't quite get that one right. A good opportunity to run here from Andy Townsend, and this is obviously what the Blues are going to try and avoid, is any of the Villa midfield players picking up the ball. An enormous clearance from the goalkeeper.
Carl shut. But not for long. Cox for Villa. Daly did well to get that, but Frayne flying in on him. Now McGrath. And Frayne did well there with that interception because Daly was right in behind him. And there's still problems for Birmingham now with Dean Saunders. Great run by Saunders, this. And the cross aimed towards Atkinson. It was an excellent move by Villa. The final header didn't carry in a threat, though, to beat Kevin Miller. Good run by Dino. As it happens, it was a good header because the ball was just slightly up and hanging and just going behind Daly and Atkinson. He got up well there, just a little bit too far out. Good kick that by Miller. Headed away by Teal. Cowan's under pressure from Tate, did well. Thornton. And an equally good ball to Saunders, who's away. Atkinson and Daly arriving in support. Still kept in. But Birmingham survived what looked a very dangerous moment then. Looked to me as though in the end this was a, a good tackle, I believe. Because Dean Saunders does everything right and the defender comes in and just nicks it at the last minute. But what a good run that was by Dean Saunders. He's looking very sharp tonight, the Welsh International. And there's another deep ball from the goalkeeper. Teal up well. Smith onto it though for Birmingham. And now Donova. A decent looking cross towards Marden. It was his first genuine opportunity to that he can be a makeshift striker as Terry Cooper has asked him to be tonight. It's a good ball from McGrath. Atkinson now he is quick. And if he gets away here, but it'll take some stopping. And he's got Saunders racing up in support. He didn't quite get over it quickly enough, and that was excellent cover by Tate. But saved the day for Birmingham. And a good ball, Marlon to Donovan. He has Carl Schott ahead of him. And now Hooper. Tate, who actually started this move with the interception in his own half. Scott Hiley. That's good play by Carl Schott, and Tate has kept it in and given it away to Teal. Now Saunders. Turned on by Townsend. Richardson helps it out to Cox. McGrath. Cox again. Good ball for Atkinson. Now Saunders. Almost. But they're defending well at the moment, Birmingham. Superb driven pass out to Daly. And the first time cross to Saunders. Oh, it hits the top of the Birmingham bar. And that would have been a magnificent goal. All starting from Cowans. Good ball by Gordon Cowans. Good cross in by Daly. I don't know what Dean Saunders is doing this year, but he keeps hitting the post and bar. He's one of those strikers at the moment who is totally out of luck. That was a great effort. Normal time goes in at the moment. A much better kick by Miller. Carl Shutt at the other end, and it drops towards Marvin here, and he's got Carl Shutt in a perfect position. Great save. Courageous, decisive goalkeeping by the Australian. He's injured. But he's got the ball, and he saved a certain goal. It was a good move. The two big fellas up front knew what they were doing, and it was a great save by the goalkeeper. It was courageous, Alan. Excellent goalkeeping. Because Carl Schutt was bearing down on him, he didn't lose the ball. It was uh, played nicely in front of him, and it was a timely save by the keeper. Excellent play.
Krasnic fit to continue and a little scuffle behind the goal there which the police have dealt with quickly the ball breaking for Saunders that was a great challenge but Atkinson onto the loose ball and that should have done better Yes, there's no question about this. Dean Saunders is looking lively. He's the liveliest of the Villa players. Dalian, every chance in the world there. Dreadfulness. opportunities as well but by and large Birmingham are still very much in this game but still one down on aggregate in the time half time Aston Villa nil Birmingham City nil well this competition means a lot to both clubs Aston Villa the first ever winners back in 1961 and Birmingham City won the cup 30 years ago the only major trophy in their history So Aston Villa get the second half underway and Birmingham City certainly have the satisfaction of knowing that they're so far doing a lot better than they did on their last visit here in this same competition five years ago when they were thrashed 5-0 on this ground. Carl Schutt turns it on, Teal knocking it clear and that's gone out of play I think, throw in to Birmingham City. Here's Houghton on as a half-time sub for the injured Andy Townsend. Carl Schutt. Oh, it's a great run by Carl Schutt, and he's clear here. Can he finish? Frustration for Schutt and Birmingham City. That was the chance to draw level on aggregate. seen Carl Schutt play and this way he'll become a permanent Blues player but that was a great effort by him Cox with a long ball for Atkinson danger here for Birmingham and Dryden concedes the corner for the first of the second half <laughs> taking it quickly Cowans Hurls it in wickedly, and Daly on the far post might have found the net. Good cross by Sid Cowens, and, and you see a deflection here, that's why Daly couldn't really grasp it. The ball comes in and you'll see Daly coming in, ready to edit, and it just gets deflected at the last minute. It's a much livelier game now in the second half. Dryden for Birmingham. It's not a good ball, easy for Cox. Spongen. Atkinson. Cowan's knocked it long for Daly. That's a superb ball. Saunders on the edge of the box and he finds him. How did he miss that? A brilliant move by Villa, but once again, their finishing lets them down. Well, oh dear, a great ball through to Tony. 
He looks up, he sees Dean Saunders there. And Dean again does the right thing, really. A nice side footer, and you think that's it, it's 1 0. And it isn't. Martin with a nice touch on. Chance again for Chateau. He was a bit wild then. He really needed to get it under control. Easy for me to say, though. Again, Dryden wins. Well, so. Shut there. I don't know. Maybe he could have taken a bit more time. Controversial decisions, the sending off of Tate, and that surely should not have been allowed to stand. Good from 
Deal. Atkinson turns it on to Saunders. Chance here for Daly, but he gave up the chase when the linesman's flag was raised offside. We're into stoppage time now as White takes the free kick. Atkinson tangles with Scott but gets it through to Daly. Birmingham's defence opening up here. Another chance for Saunders, and he pulls it back to Houghton. And the linesman's flag has ruled out the goal this time. Offside. Well, oh, can't work that one out. Well, the old Lino's interpretation of the game seems to be different from ours, old boy. Good run by Tony Daly. Touch here. Oh, yeah, Richardson's offside. Yeah. That's it. It's all over. And Aston Villa have won the Birmingham derby and won a place in the next round. 1 0 on the night, 2 0 on aggregate. Dean Saunders getting the crucial goal. Birmingham made a splendid contribution to this match, though, and they will feel in the end. They just didn't get the breaks when they needed them. The sending off of Tate was one of the key moments in the game, and Saunders finished them off with that late goal. Final score at Villa Park. Aston Villa 1, Birmingham City 0. Villa win by two goals to nil over the two legs. Played well tonight, but unlucky. Uh, the lads were a credit to the club and to the supporters. I'm disappointed that... Uh, a referee of uh, General Ashby's stature uh, sent Paul Tate off. Why? I mean, he pushed. He, he, he looked as if he could have headbutted he, someone, and no, pushed he him over he the range. He didn't him. I mean, he pushed I, him out. He pushed him out. Yeah, but the, the Villa players run about 30 yards to get the tackling, and uh, you know the ball's going dead. And Paul Tate's just got up. They've had a head to head, and Paul's pushed him, and he's fell over the um, advertising board. As well, I didn't think he was a sending. It's a man's game, this, and it's a local derby, and uh, I, I, I just. I think the referee could have given him a yellow card and let the game go on. You missed your chances again tonight, and Villa had that one really good chance which Saunders missed, and then he scored a goal. Well, I thought he was offside. From well, where we'll I, I, we'll show yeah, it to you yeah, now. You can, on, you can see the replay. Look, yeah. he looks inside his own half, doesn't he? Watch him. There's the halfway line. Where? In the middle. There he is. There. Hold it. Freeze it for you. There comes the ball. He's just inside the halfway line. The ball hasn't gone yet. He's off. He's off. He's offside. Off. You're wrong again, Mr. Newborn, he's offside, because I was so? right in line, he was at least a yard offside. But that was, it, it doesn't take away from our performance, we were super great, and uh, we missed two great chances. But I'm disappointed, the referee, uh, I, I go and watch a lot of Premier League clubs, and they're very lenient in the Premier League. As soon as you get a first division club against the Premier League, they seem to go over the top and, and punish you. Well, here's the referee in the referee's room. Um, a lot of disputes going on here. First of all, let's deal with the sending off, Gerald. Why did you send him off, Tate? Well, as far as I was concerned, uh, not only did he lurch forward towards his opponent, he also pushed him violently into the crowd, and as far as I'm concerned, that's unacceptable in any, any standard of football. Well, we can see the incident again. Um, as you can say, Rich Richardson is, uh, is fairly late with his challenge and deserved to be cautioned for that. As you can see, the player's head lurches forward, and then he, you see that's unacceptable. He could have caused his opponent serious injury. Now we come to the argument about the actual goal. Um, we believe now that Saunders was inside his own half, but uh, Terry Cooper thinks he was definitely offside. Well, and you can explain what's going on. Obviously we've got the benefit here of... Uh... He's in his own half here, Gerald. There he is. He's in his own half, so he's clearly... Uh, he can't be given offside if he's in his own half. And the ball seems to come off uh, a Birmingham player anyway. I, I think that's irrespective. If he's in his own half of the field of play, he can't be judged to be in an offside position. Well, there's always good arguments, but the referee does seem to be right on both occasions. Thank you very much, Gary. Now, what about the goal? Terry Cooper, we've showed him the replay, this replay, and he says it was offside. But it does look onside. I mean, my first reaction was, and I shouted at Terry, he's in his own half, Dino's in his own half. Full marks him once he got in there, you know. He's still got plenty of work to do then. And he's moved the ball well on the keeper. He's actually finished it brilliantly. Um, but, I mean, sometimes your, your best reaction is the one, you, your initial reaction, the one you, you actually set the game. And my, fir my first, very first thought was, he's run from his own half of the field. And I think that would be right. Hmm. Well, well um...
<laughs> well, my, Some interesting talking points. My I mean, first reaction yep. was, apart from uh, Gary Newborn sucking up to the referee there, mm -hmm. was that he was offside. Because if you're going on first reactions, I was right in level with the play, and I booked him as offside. And what was interesting to me is not what the referee did, but what the linesman did or didn't do, and he didn't put up his flag. And I don't see how the linesman, if he's looking across the field, could have made any other judgment than to put the flag up. Let's, let's in the hindsight, it, shall we? Yeah, in the hindsight of 14 cameras, which Mr Newbon had, um, in talking to the referee, obviously, uh, it could be ruled that he was onside. Uh, it could be ruled, actually, that Marden even touched the ball. But I still felt my first gut reaction was that he was offside. But you, no, you were right in line, weren't you? Really? I was right in line. Alan Parry and I were right in line. Uh, but there you are. It was a very well... Taking anything away from, uh, from, from Dean Saunders, because Ron, Ron Atkinson's absolutely right. It was a brilliantly taken goal by a man who, during the course of the evening, really, didn't have all the luck in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Birmingham had to go into that game without Savile and Pesky Solid. Yeah. Uh, they did well, didn't they, in, I, the, in that circumstance? I thought they did brilliantly, Bob, because what they decided to do tactically was, was bypass the midfield, because they knew they couldn't match Villa in the midfield. And what they actually did, they just whacked everything forward, and the two lads up front battled for everything and were quite superb. I mean, on the night, you have to give the honours to Birmingham City. I know they didn't win the game, but, but they played extremely well. As for Villa, I think Villa were caught, but they knew what they had to do, and they carried on doing it, and in the end, they got the goal. So, the, the result was about right, but you have to say that Birmingham City did put up a good fight, and they made a great game of it. It was a good, great atmosphere. Tuesday.